10 most expensive Air Jordan 4s. Starting off hot right here, we have the Air Jordan 4 Black Cat. Current market on this sneaker is around $900 to $1,000, and it's crazy to think that back in 2020 when they retroed, they were sitting on shelves. Literally, they were so easy to cop, people didn't even wanna pay retail for the shoe. But throughout the pandemic, more and more hype started to leave the Air Jordan 1, and we're starting to see more trends with a lot of people liking the Air Jordan 4s in particular, so that's why I made today's video. Now, when it comes to the Black Cat Air Jordan 4, this is not an OG colorway, but we did see the first version back in the early 2000s and then a retro in 2020, and ever since then, the price has just slowly been creeping up, and now a lot of new sneakerheads in the game are seeing this as one of their grail sneakers to have in their collections. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this sneaker and I have them in my collection as well, but I got these back when they were for retail and nobody wanted them so it's definitely very interesting to see the price that it is today let me know what your experience was down below in the comment section when it comes to the black cat jordan 4s did you start collecting before or after they came out on the second retro and do you even like this shoe or not oh yeah and before we take it to the next sneaker if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the DNA show. Now next up on the list, we have a sneaker that's a little bit more unique than a simple all black colorway, and that's the Levi Denim Air Jordan 4 in the blue denim colorway. We did see iterations in the white and the black denim as well, but this blue colorway was the first one that came out of the pack, and these are definitely the most expensive. Now this shoe in particular, I still don't have in my collection. I was being bougie when they first came out, and you know, retail was like 250, and they were going for a little bit over. I thought the price was gonna settle and drop a little bit. Everybody was customizing their shoes, distressing the denim, bleaching them, doing and all those different things and I was like waiting for my time next thing you know the price just kept going up now you look at the shoe it's around a thousand dollars for a size 13 also for everybody that's watching the video I'm a size 13 so we're using relative prices to my size my size is gonna be a little bit more expensive than some people that may be wearing a smaller size 9 10 11 something like that so with that you can actually potentially find these sneakers for cheaper than what I'm actually listing them at in today's video so I just wanted to let you know that as well if you didn't know about pricing and how it varies depending on sizes it's crazy you could literally have the same exact shoe and it could be 600 bucks for one size and a thousand dollars for another size the same exact shoe i know it's wild but either way let's take it to the next shoe sitting at around eleven hundred dollars we have the premium snakeskin air jordan 4 this is a very very clean shoe retail on these was four hundred dollars so it was already coming in at a premium price point but we all knew that you were going to get a1 quality materials packaging and all the things that go along with it now this also came in somewhat of a pack i can't say they all came out together in the same exact box and everything but there were other premium air jordan 4s as well but when it comes to that line of jordan 4s the snakeskin one in particular is the most expensive one i'm personally a fan of all the different versions you got the tan the white the black all the different things either way they're all really really nice but again entry level at 400 bucks i can see why everybody didn't just go out and rush to get the shoe but you look at it now 2016 to current time i could understand why the shoe's around 800 to a thousand dollars and like i said size 13 1100 bucks now before we take it to the next shoe i just wanted to remind you guys i built a full community of like-minded individuals that are interested in sneakers and taking their shoe game to the next level and that want to even potentially learn how to turn their sneaker collection into actually buying real estate so if you're interested in any of those things make sure you guys hit the link down below in the description and in the community we have monthly live meetups free giveaways every single month as well we have challenges with a bunch of different chat rooms that also allow everybody to communicate and stay up to date and network with each other as well so if you want to learn more make sure you guys hit the link down below now let's take it to the next shoe and that is the cactus jack travis scott air jordan 4 I'm sure everybody remembers this release back in 2018. Either if you were or weren't a sneakerhead at the time, there's been a lot of buzz around the shoe to say the least. And we know with the friends and family PEs, the purples and the browns and all those different things, I can easily see why this shoe is gonna be valued at a lot of money. And that also brings my other point to this video. I purposely made top 10 list of retail and released sneakers not samples and pe's and all the crazy exclusive ones if you guys want to see a video of that let me know down below in the comment section and i'll give you guys the top 10 most expensive air jordan 4s because those are going to be samples those are going to be like those 20 30 40 50 hundred thousand dollar sneakers so i would love to make that video but i also wanted to make one for the actual everyday sneaker heads as well so when it comes to the travis scott air jordan 4 this thing is covered in a blue suede you got the black back tags with the spec on it the cactus jack branding everybody loves this shoe it's rare that i hear somebody that doesn't like the shoe and especially to find a brand new pair in 
in current time, that makes it even harder to do. Luckily, I have a couple pairs of my collection, so I still have my dead stock pair. I hit those on sneakers app, actually. Crazy story. I think I made a video about that in the past. If I didn't, let me know, and I'll make sure I get that video out for you guys as well. But either way, let's take it to the next shoe. And that is the Taupe Haze Union Air Jordan 4. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked when it comes to the price of these and them being around $1,200. I get it. It's unique. All those different things. It's a collaboration. But to rank those above Travis Scott's when it comes to price and value and all those other things, I feel like that's kind of off to me. But again, you know, the market speaks what it does. You know, I don't control all the prices. I'm just here to show you guys what everything is in the current state of market now. And who knows, things may change. There might be some other Jordan 4s that'll come out that could potentially pass these up. But some of these, I think they're gonna hold their place for a really long time. So let me know what you guys think about the Taupe Haze Union Air Jordan 4s down below in the comment section. Again, it's not a bad shoe, but I'm still kind of shocked by that one. Now this next shoe definitely kind of makes a little bit more sense because I remember it hitting when it first came out and I could see it rise just a little bit over time. And that's the Guava Ice Air Jordan 4 Union. I think this colorway definitely is better than the Taupe Haze, but again, to each his own. You might like one, you might like the other, you might like both, you might like neither, who knows? At the end of the day, buy what you like. Like, right but these right here are going to be hitting around that same $1,200 price point when it comes to a size 13 and I'm very interested uh, to see how these last in the long haul when it comes to collaborations and if they continue to rise because some of these shoes on the list are past that $3,000 mark when it comes to materials and all the other aspects of the shoe as you've seen from the b-roll photos it's definitely a nice shoe it's clean I get it but this is also a sneaker that's for a niche audience I get that there was less pairs made and all those other things but when you think about the common black and red Chicago Bulls colorways or the blues or whatever it may be you can understand why the majority audience might like that shoe a little bit more but at the end of the day because this shoe is a more limited release as well you can see why the price is what it is next up on the list right here this is a shoe that was like a friends and family sneaker we didn't think it was actually going to be releasing and then it actually dropped and came out to the public and everybody was happy now retail on these was like 350 bucks or something like that but at the same time really really good shoe and now in current market you can see the black cost fours hitting for around 1600 bucks i remember when these first came out and everybody was going crazy for the gray cost fours because those set the tone and then everybody was like well the black ones aren't as good as the gray ones some people are like the black ones are better than the gray ones but when it came to pricing they were always just a little bit cheaper than the gray pair i remember these being around 700 bucks and then 800 bucks and then 900 bucks and then 1200 bucks and they've just been slowly creeping up over time and as we continue to see less and less dead stock pairs available the price just continues to rise which is a part of the shoe game like i said earlier if you want to learn more and join the sneakerhead academy i'll teach you guys all the ins and outs and trends of the market because this always plays a huge factor on what sneakers to purchase and add to your collection that could potentially rise in value and then you can use that as leverage to buy a home so not only is the cost for a beautiful shoe it glows in the dark but it's actually a collaboration sneaker with an artist which means what these are almost seen as pieces of art display pieces trophy pieces those type of items and when you talk about art art can be priced at anything now next up on the list is a sneaker that i should be getting very soon i'm working out a deal but i don't have them in my collection yet and they're really hard to get in my size because it was a women's drop, the Sale Air Jordan 4 Off-White. Now retail on these was like 200 bucks and that's cool and all, but next thing you know, the shoe's going for $3,000. Now, like I said earlier, I'm a size 13, so in 14 and a half in women's, it is a really hard shoe to find, especially a dead stock version or a clean version. And because of that, this price could literally be doubled. Like you could find a pair in your size for 1500 bucks, but in my size, $2,800, $3,000, $3,200, somewhere around there. We all know the story behind this shoe. RIP Virgil, a legend. He made a huge stamp in the game. This is one of his dopest sneakers and colorways that he released out of all the shoes that he dropped, especially when it comes to the Jordans. Some people say it's the best. Some people say Chicago Off-White Air Jordan 1. Either way, it's at the top of a lot of people's list, and that's why it's in the top three most expensive Air Jordan 4s out right now. Now, coming in at second, another sneaker that's just been creeping up in price. I remember when these were like 1500 bucks and people are like that's too much you should only be paying like 1200 for those and now look at them 3500 dollars the gray cost fours like i said earlier with the black pair this was the first one that dropped everybody loved it you got the glow in the dark it's an artist collaboration it's considered as a piece of art so many people love cost and his toys already things that he does out in the community in the public when it comes to his large pieces of art literally larger than life type stuff it's crazy to see so tying all that stuff 
in, having a limited shoe, amazing quality materials, box, packaging, all those different things. I can understand why this is a very expensive shoe and why it's in the top three as well. But I was kind of surprised when I found out which shoe was number one. And that is the Air Jordan 4 Dornbecker. I remember when these came out, retail was like 170 or 175 bucks, something like that pretty easy cop it was a limited release i get that you know they don't make that many pairs when it comes to dornbecker sneakers you know over time the shoe became a thousand dollar shoe and people were like whoa that's crazy like i remember when dornbecker force was like 350 and then now look a four thousand dollar sneaker for a dead stock pair yes i know my pair looks dead stock but i've actually worn them a couple of times i've only worn them indoors that's why and then i clean the bottoms but either way this is a beautiful shoe i love the dornbecker collection and to me i'm not getting rid of it so i'm not really worried about the dollar value about the sneaker but i can understand why it is worth so much and to find a dead stock pair in current market now extremely hard to do and then you know with aging and the other factors that come along with it because this shoe came out in like 2011 and it's been a while to say the least when it comes to jordan threes fours five sixes sevens all those things with the midsoles like that next thing you know the shoes start to fall apart so you got to be careful when it comes to investing into air jordan fours and things like that as well but again we talk about all that in the community either way i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope this video was helpful for the people that didn't know or are interested in some of the most expensive air jordan fours out there if you want to see this series continued with other models or other types of concepts behind it let me know down below in the comment section and i would love to get you guys some videos of this stuff because it's honestly pretty interesting to see these prices i was not expecting some of these to be on the list i would never let you down hey if you made it to the end of this video again don't forget to hit the link down below in the description or pinned in the comment section join the community i'm excited to have you guys on the inside we're getting new members all the time and it's so dope to see you guys interacting and me helping you guys out as well so hit that link down below you'll get private access to me and any other questions you may have i'll answer them for you on the inside appreciate you guys as always i'll catch you in another one listen my dna hey, the hey, only choice i like to make what i'm aware today one one i would never let you down it's in my dna the only choice i like to make what i'm aware today i was made for it it's in the dna